SEC. Here's the Seam Rose. Nothing doing. They call it second and nine, and he finds Bowden. Bowden working against the zone is able to pick up a first down. Opening drive for Kentucky. It's Rose, and Rose is immediately swallowed up. In the tackles, look at him. Driving Drake Jackson the center back into the play, and that's what really made that play. Yeah, Green had the... Carolina shows corner blitz from J.C. Horn. They bring him tentatively, and Kentucky couldn't find much against it with the run. And Smith flushed, floats it, intercepted by Ernest Jones. Sawyer Smith tried to float it over the top of Jones, ends up in his gloves. Quarterback, Cavasse Smoke in a running back. And Smoke takes it for a gain of four. <laughs> Here, can Kentucky fashion a similar response? It's Kavache Smoke again. And T back to the Florida game. On third and three, lob into coverage and incomplete. And the third down, everything back in Youngstown from this position. And he will hand it off. To a seam rose. Kentucky over the years has slight go Youngstown, Ohio. On second and five, he rips it to the outside. But they have great coverage. They have to account for two guys on the outside every time they come out in that formation. And that's going to open up run. Smith, quick hitter, the bat above, and he overshot him. So there was no contact at the top of the route. I'm okay with that. Little wrap around the back. The ball was outstretched. Looking for Wagner. And to the tight end. Complete the well short of the sticks. The extra effort won't be enough for Justin Rigg. And South Carolina turns him over on down. The seam rose is the running back for Smith. They want to go to the air. And that one's wide. Trying to find Ahmad Wagner. Five wide for Kentucky. There's the hitter. It's Ali, and he takes it for a gain of six. Four man rush. Nobody there. Get in Youngstown. He said, I didn't expect to make it to 21. Here's Ali, and he picks up a couple. And he Smith looking the other way, and incomplete. Trying to find, which is fitting for this town, especially after we got stuck behind a train yesterday. That one. Lynn Bowen at quarterback. He's going to keep it, and he finds a gap right up the middle. Here's Bowden out of Youngstown on Ohio and running free. And Bowden puts that into the belly of a seam rose. Now he's 6'6", 310. Second and nine. It's Rose. Come over center. Bowden fakes the pass. Had a lead blocker. Couldn't follow him. And Lynn Bowden picks up three. Four. So they're rebuilding completely, especially on that defensive side of the ball. Stoops was telling us this morning that. Cleveland Thomas Jr. First catch of the game for on second and eight. Sawyer Smith. Four-man rush wins up front for South Carolina, and the ball comes loose. It's another game clock takeaway. It ends up in the. Got to step up. You're going to see the pass rush come hard off the edge by Wanham. And if you're Sawyer Smith, you got to step up and through the pocket to find your receivers over the middle. You can't retreat from that spot. That tackle does a good job. Run your guy past the quarterback and upfield. If he steps up, he steps away from danger. Really nice job. Sometimes we look smart, and sometimes just because the coach told us. Yes. <laughs> Trying to set up a tunnel screen. It's quarterback goes down. And a guy that... Probably felt like he was at. Blake Lock at three. 
Pressure coming in Smith's face. He gets it off incomplete. And the ESPN app. Here's Lynn Bowden. Bowden broke through out of a fistful of jersey. We're at a dinner in Athens, Georgia. First one less than three yards tonight. Busted play. Bowden loses the football. They'll get nothing. Lynn Bowden actually fakes the wrong direction. Confused at where this play is supposed to hit. Thought he was going to break out some yacht rock. Sawyer Smith lobs one down the middle of the field, and that is incomplete. On second and ten, they're able to find five. Four man rush. Smith delivers what great hands. But Smith heaves it. And it's incomplete, and he's lucky it's incomplete. Four-man rush again. Sawyer Smith floats one, and Bowden ran out of room. Smith chase. All he can do is flick it to the sideline. There is no foul for intentional grounding. The player was outside the tackle box. However, personal foul, horse collar tackle on the defense, number 52. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Students just reacted like over quarterback. Bowden keeps it. He's going to need an ice bath after this one. Yeah, that Pat Mahomes. Smith down the sideline into coverage. It is batted away and a near pick, maybe. Which brings J.C. Horn over the top. Should have picked that off, but Sherrod Green collides with him in coverage. As a quarterback, you gotta you Smith, maybe his best throw of the night, and it's hauled in by a minor to bring this one down. That's a good ball. Best ball he's thrown all night by far. In tight coverage there. Maquamu 6'4. Not an easy completion. Little trickery. Smith down the sideline. Batted away. Fantastic. Bowden hands it off to Rodriguez, the freshman. He is bottled up. Middle receiver of the three. Smith escapes the pocket. Nobody open deep. The five. And he goes down. Another sack for Carolina. DJ. Big blast from behind. Nobody there. Yeah. Sawyer Smith gets thrown to the ground by Aaron Sterling. And the th Smith dumps it out. And Rose remaining. Tennessee Vandy and Appalachian State. By the way, that's an app team that beat North Carolina. Well, if this back end starts to come together, it's not, not going to be a team that George is just going to be able to roll over. He becomes your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. On a drop. Pressure coming. And third down conversions if you're watching from Texas. Smith. Again. Now there are times obviously. Mm -hmm. Sawyer Smith over the middle. Off the hands. Chase. And they will catch him. DJ Wanham and Sawyer Smith. On the outside, you can see Smith here looking to the left. Looks back to the middle and just nothing open. And by that time, Wanham had a chance to loop around on a stunt and be in the right place at the right.
The Limbo, 7 yard hitch route to the wide side of the field with ease. I mean, he's talented. That opens the door for Rodriguez. And Christopher Rodriguez Jr., the freshman, showing some get up and go. That's really what they've lacked. Sawyer Smith was 36% last game, right around 33% this game. They, they got to complete more balls. Receiver was fantastic. And Maurice Claret, who of course played at Ohio State. Bowden on the run. And this is what he can do. Bowden bends it back to the inside, weaves his way through traffic, and takes it all the way. Uh, first and goal, Rodriguez pushes his way in. First touch.